guys what's up welcome back to the channel thank you guys so so much for all the love and support on my last video if you did not see it it was just me telling my friends and family that we were pregnant super cute if you want you can go watch it it'll be linked in the cards or down in the description but um yeah in today's video i'm gonna be telling you guys about my birth story because it's kind of it's a little it's uh crazy but it was just not what I was expecting going into this at all um so before we get started you guys should subscribe to the channel hit the red button it's free join the family and um comment down below if you are a mom and let me know your birth story and like I don't it probably can't tell me let me know if your birth story was just you know pretty normal or was it crazy but um, anyways, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into the video. Okay guys, so it was a typical Tuesday and Tuesdays are like Mondays for me. That's when I go back to work because I work over the weekend. So Mondays I have off, Tuesdays is like a Monday. So, you know, I get up, my husband um, is up. I hear my husband getting ready to leave and I get up because I can hear him. And when I get up, I feel a little crampy. Like I have, like, you know, cramps. And, you know, usually when you're pregnant, you can feel cramps. And I felt cramps throughout my whole pregnancy. So, and I also want to say that I had, uh, well, I still have them. But during my pregnancy, I dealt with fibroids. So, if you want to know more about that, do I have a video on that? I think I have a video on that. It'll be linked if I do. But, um. Yeah, I deal with fibroids and I dealt with them throughout my pregnancy. So, you know, these pains and cramps and things like that were kind of normal to me. So I woke up and didn't really think anything of it. It was just kind of, you know, cramping. I'm like, ugh, I feel uncomfortable. I'm cramping. Um, My husband, you know, left for work and I had a few more minutes to sleep. So I fell asleep and then, or I tried to go to sleep, but these cramps were really kind of uncomfortable. And I was like, oh, what is going on? Like, these are hurting. And then I noticed that the pain was kind of, you know, wrapping around to my back. And I was like, you know, I've had cramping, but throughout my pregnancy, I really didn't have like, I had back pain, but not back cramps. And I was a little, I, I and also I want to say, sorry, I also want to say that I um, did go to the doctor like maybe two weeks before this or three weeks before this and they told me that I was dilated one centimeter but you know they say you could be dilated for like up until birth whatever it could be really slow so and also I started doing something like I forget what it was like a pill or something to help slow it down or whatever so anyways I woke up da, da, da. so I was like ah, these back these, I'm like having back cramps a little bit so I text my friend Joy and I text her because she was recently pregnant, um, you know, a couple months ago. And I was like, hey, did you feel this kind of pain? Um, I explained it to her. I was like, you know, I'm back pain. Da -da -da, I'm feeling comfortable. Da -da -da. And she kind of asked me some questions where, which came off to me as like, mm, something maybe like wrong, not in like a bad, bad way, but something I don't know. She was like, maybe try walking around and walking it off and see if that helps. Because sometimes changing your position or walking or drinking some water helps. So I was like, okay. So I got up. I tried to walk around my living room a couple times. And um, I drank some water. And I just kind of felt like the pain was getting a little more intense. Like it wasn't getting better. I was It was getting a little stronger. And I was, t and then I called mm, my husband and I was, or I was texting him, I think. I don't know, texting or calling. And I was like, hey, like I'm feeling some cramps. Like they're kind of strong and it's like in my back. Um, and I was like, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if it's fibroid pain. It didn't feel like the normal fibroid pain. So I didn't want to just take the medicine because I had, I was on a, I was given a stronger Tylenol um, to help with the fibroid pain. But um, I was like, I just didn't want to take it and it's not it and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I think I'm just going to call and go get checked in. Something was telling me to call them and see if I needed to come in to be checked. And he was like, I, I kind of already did it. And I was just telling him. And he was like, okay, well, you already called them. You know, go ahead and get checked. So I was like, okay. I called Daryl and I told her 
that I was gonna be a little late because I'm gonna go get checked just to make sure everything was okay. I'm having some back cramps and it's like a little painful. And she was like, okay, you know, keep me updated. So I was like, okay, blah, blah, blah. I called them, I was like, I'm 31 weeks. Um, I was dilated about two, three weeks ago and I'm feeling some cramping and it's kind of hurting in my back and it's getting a little intense. And they immediately said, okay, could you come in around like 11? And I was like, yeah, or 10, I don't forget what time. 10 or 11 i was like sure so i called my mom because mark's at work and i called my mom because i'm thinking like they're gonna check me they might tell me to go to the hospital be checked like for fibroids i've gone to the hospital a couple of times because of fibroid pain which that could be another story time but um i went a couple times and uh to the hospital so i was like please don't let them send me to the hospital again and da -da -da. so i called my mom i was like can you come with me she said of course she met me there we get there and I go into the room and I on my I'm in pain. I'm really uncomfortable. It's not like, oh my gosh, help me. Like, but it was like painful cramps. And I felt really uncomfortable. And then I also was like worried they were gonna like, okay, go to the hospital. And I was and I really didn't want to. So the doctor came in and she was like, Mmm, based on your face though, I might send you to the hospital to get checked anyway. And I was like, no. She's like, because you look like you're in, you know, some pain. And I was like, uh, I don't want to go. So she's like, let me check you first and see what's going on, blah, blah, blah. So I said, okay. So she, you know, goes down there and checks. And then she's like, all right. So she, I, and it's funny because she's like, she checks. She's like, okay. She, you know, I get back up. She's taking off her glove. She's like, okay. So you're three centimeters dilated. And I was like, what? Is what? Guys, I was 31 weeks. I literally had was supposed to have two more months. She goes, yeah, you're, you're three centimeters dilated, three to four. Um, so you're definitely going to the hospital. She was like, you're definitely probably going to have this baby today or tomorrow. She was like, but um, we're going to go to the hospital and we're going to try to see if we can slow it down. Da -da 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 -da. But you're definitely going to have the baby like, you know, probably by tomorrow. And I was like, I started instantly crying. Uh, she was like, it's okay, it's okay, I know it's scary. Um, you know, da, da 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 She was saying, you know, this happens more than you think, da 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 And I was just crying. I was crying. So, I was crying. I called my husband right away. I'm bawling. He's like, what is going on? He's like, what's the matter? I'm like, oh, you said I'm having the baby. And I'm crying. And he's like, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get off work, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, <laughs> Why did I come yet? Da, da, da. And I'm just crying. And then I kind of calm down. And then I call. And then I have to call my boss, the boss lady, and Darlin, which is funny. I called her and she was like, haha, like she's joking. She's like, what? Are you going into labor? And I'm like, yes. And she's like, oh my gosh. She's like, okay. And she like instantly flipped. She's like, okay, it's okay. You're going to be okay. It's going to be fine. Blah, 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 blah. Let me know if you need anything. And I'm like, okay. So I'm crying, I suck it up, and I head over to, start over to the hospital, which is right across the street from my OB. And so I drive over there, and it is so packed. So I'm over here looking for parking for the longest time. My mom calls me, she's like, where are you? I'm like, I'm trying to look for parking. She's like, why don't you just do valet? I'm like, there's no need to yell. I was like, I didn't realize it was complimentary. Um, so I go, finally I go to valet, they park my car, and I go up and da 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 and the doctor had said she already called over and da da da. So as soon as I got there, they were trying to figure out what's going on. And then finally they just put me in a room because I was three to four centimeters and two months early. So when I got into the room, they were like, Ch -ch -ch. it felt, it, it was just, everything was just happening so quick. They were like, okay, get it right, get the IV put it, get, you know, put an IV in me, da da da, gave me a shot. They gave me two shots. One was, no, I think it was one shot. I don't remember. Oh, it was so far. But I got an IV and they started um, a drip on me to one help, you know, oh, to help slow down the contractions. They tried to give me something to help slow down the contractions. And then they gave me a shot to help develop or help develop or protect the baby's lungs um, because she was going to pop because she was coming out early. So they did that. They did that so quick. I think I got in. I got there in like five, ten minutes got in the room i think they were doing that for about maybe 30 or 40 oh one second 
Okay, sorry guys, our pizza came and I had to go grab it. Um, so where was I? So they were, you know, getting me settled in, giving me the shots, giving me IV, doing all these things, and I think it was about uh maybe an hour that's gone by. They did it quick. They were da 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 da. So um I noticed after they gave me like the drip, the thing to help me help my cramps or help my cramps to help me slow down the process of being um dilated. <laughs> To slow down the process, um, I noticed that my cramps had slowed down. So I was like, oh, I feel, you know, I feel better. I'm not having any, like, pain. Um, blah, blah, blah. Talk to Mark. I think, but I think at this point, Mark had just got here. He got, he got there pretty quick. And then my mom, I think an hour or two passed. Maybe two, maybe an hour and a half, two. And she was like, Sasha, you should really try to get some sleep. And I was like, okay. And I remember turning over and trying to get some sleep when i turned over maybe like 20 30 minutes later i was like oh i'm feeling this pain again but this time it was coming a little bit more intense than before and i was like ooh, i was like no 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 i was like this hurts this hurts this hurts this hurts from on the thing and then one of them came in to check me and they were like oh you're like four to five centimeters dil um, dilated now and i'm like what so they called my doc i think it was the nurse who checked and then she called the doctor and she was like hey do you want us to give her more or another shot of whatever to help slow it down and the doctor was like mm, nope sorry that thing we gave her before should have slowed it down if it didn't if she's having the baby when the baby comes and i was like oh god i was just so nervous because it was two months early like and i knew she would you know she was gonna have to be in the nicu and i just was I I was just nervous, but I don't feel like I had too too much time to be too nervous because it was just going by so quick, literally. So then she was like, nope, you have this baby. So I was like, oh my gosh, so they can't do anything. And then I think another maybe hour, an hour and a half passed by and I was literally in pain. I was like, I can't. I was like, this hurts. I was trying to breathe. I couldn't breathe. I didn't want to breathe. My mom was like, Sasha, you have to breathe. And I was like, I can't breathe. And she was like, I understand, but it's gonna help, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, not okay. Oh, before I do that, before I say this, I do wanna show you a video. This is after I got the drip. This is the only video I got of me at the hospital because I thought, I literally thought, guys, that she was gonna come the next day. Like, I was like, oh, you know, usually your first baby comes the next day, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna show you a video real quick. I'm gonna insert it right here. Hi, guys. So, today is April 30th, 2024, and I am in the hospital because baby girl apparently wants to come early. Oh, something. I am apparently five centimeters, about two, was it two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Three weeks, ago, three weeks ago, I was one centimeter dilated, and now I'm five. Um, they've tried to slow down my contractions with magnesium. Um, got me on antibiotics and a whole other bunch of stuff, but um. Yeah. Mark's here. Mommy's here. Your mm. grandmother said, tell Sasha to hang up, please. So anyways, yeah, that was me before it got real intense. So like back to what I was saying, after they checked me and I was four to five centimeters, the um, these cramps started just getting stronger and stronger. And I was like, bro, this hurts. Um, I wasn't screaming yet or anything. I was like just kind of whining, I think, and like, saying it hurts and I was like uh, moaning a little and then um like an hour or two later I was like this really hurts and I think they were getting another closer together and the other doctor came in and she was like hey how you doing da, da, da. she checks me and she literally goes "Ooh, you're eight centimeters I said I looked at my husband I said did she just say I was eight centimeters and he's like eh, yeah and I said who's eight centimeters I'm eight centimeters I was like how I go from four and four to five 
centimeters to eight centimeters in like an hour. I was like, this is not happening. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, they were like, do you want the epidural? You should get it now if you want it because they could get busy and then you couldn't get it. And I was scared. So I called, you know, my friend Daryl and I was like, Daryl, should I get it? I'm scared. She was like, get it. Don't tell them they can't. Like, she was like, tell, don't let them tell you you can't get it at eight centimeters, blah, blah, blah. You can get it. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to get it. And then, um, you know, I was waiting on them. And the doctor was trying really hard to get the anesthesiologist, I think that's how you say it, to come and give me this epidural because I was already at eight centimeters and I was scared. And I mean, the pain was bad, but I didn't want to, I don't, I didn't want to feel any worse than that. Cause they were like, it's not going to get easier. And I was like, give me the epidural. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. They finally came in, they gave me the epidural and it wasn't bad at all really. I don't, I don't even remember it hurting or anything like that um and the lady was smooth quick and mine's worked perfect thank god it, i didn't feel it not on one side too like it was just good um but i could still so she gave me that and i finally calmed down for a little bit but then i started feeling pressure and then this might be tmi but i told i was telling my mom i'm sorry i'm talking fast i feel like i'm talking really fast but um i was telling my mom i was like um i feel like i have to poop and my mom's like mm, that's not poop that's you wanting to push or like you want you know baby's ready to come out and i was like well it feels like poop and i'm trying to hold it but i don't think i can hold it for much longer so then you know i said that and i was saying that so the doctor came back and she checked me and she was like oh well yep you could do some practice pushes you're pretty much ready to push and i was like i can't push I literally started freaking out. I was like, I can't push. I can't do this. I'm looking at my husband. I'm like, I don't want to push. I can't push. And he's like, yeah, you, you got this. You can do this. And I'm like, no, I don't want to push. I don't want to. And my mom's like, it's going to be okay. And I said, I don't want to push. I'm scared. And then, so I had to practice push. And I wasn't doing it right the first time. I was pushing. She was like, no, like, like you got, like, that's not it. She was explaining this. Like, like you got to use the bathroom. You got to push, push, push. And I just, and I was so exhausted too. So I just, and mentally tired and that I just couldn't process everything. And then she handed me a towel and she like told me to pull on it while she pulled on it. And when she did that and I pushed, that was helping. So I, we did that for a little bit. The doctor came, I did some pushes. I don't remember how long I pushed for. I think she said maybe about four or five minutes, babe. Mm -hmm. Four or five minutes and she was out and that was the most craziest thing of it was just it it oh my gosh it was just it was just mind-boggling that it was just a regular old tuesday and here i think i'm just going to work like regular i woke up thinking i'm just gonna go to work it's another day i got pre i'm pregnant i got two more months and um uh, so it was like mm, it's time to come out now there's no more room in here with these fibroids so we got to get up out of here so she when they when she came out, she like slipped out. I didn't feel any pain. It felt, I, mm, yeah, she just slipped out. They did put her on me. I got to put her, they got to put her on me. She was crying, thank gosh. She was four pounds, which is pre, which is really good for a preemie. Um, the, the NICU doctor was there and he was like, that's really good. And it's really good signs that she's crying. And um, it was just, it was just really uh, a little bit calming that she was four pounds and that she was crying because i was scared i didn't know what was going to happen um but yeah that's what happened and then they took her up to the nicu which that will be another story time because that one's a little harder to talk about still but um but yeah guys that was my birth story it was a little cray that it just happened so i remember my friend portia just kept saying bro it's a tuesday sasha it's a regular Tuesday. You out here having a baby. And I was like, she kept saying it because it's like early, you know? It's like out of nowhere. It's like, it just happened. It was insane. But, yeah. What do you think, babe? You know what? No. We're going to save it and put it on Instagram. So if you want to know what Mark thought, look out for that Instagram reel coming soon. Go follow me. On my Instagram, I am simply Sasha414. If you want to hear his thoughts, that's it, guys. Uh, it was crazy, but she's good now. She's healthy. She's the cutest thing ever. 
and I love her so much. And um, I'm thankful for the experience. And I'm just glad it all worked out. So thank you, God. He is so good. And I'm so glad it worked out. But um, thank you guys again so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, put a pregnant lady in the comments. Okay? Or a heart. Can you tell I'm a, I'm a millennial? I do my hearts like this. Um, or a heart. So, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe, make sure you like it, share it if you want to somebody who's get, about to give birth or, yeah, it's up to you. But thank you guys again so, so much and I'll see you guys on the next video. Mwah! Deuces! <laughs>